This training video shows the Avigilon Alta H6SL Bullet Cloud Native Camera installation procedures. This camera provides direct to cloud connections to Alta Aware, Avigilon's cloud video management system. The installation guide can be downloaded from the Avigilon website. Important safety information is detailed in the installation guide. Ensure the package is intact and there are no signs that the camera has been dropped or scratched. This camera can be pre-configured in its box. The following segment overviews the steps for the pre-configuration of a generic camera. Let's begin with the pre-deployment steps. The camera comes equipped with an RJ45 configuration cable pre-installed for users that want to configure camera settings before installing the camera. The RJ45 connector on the configuration cable is accessible through the small flap on the side of the camera box for easy configuration before unpacking the camera. It's recommended not to leave your camera connected during the pre-configuration process beyond the time displayed and within the following ambient temperatures. Locate and open the flap on the side of the camera packaging. Connect a network cable to the RJ45 plug on the configuration cable. The network cable must provide PoE to power the camera during configuration. Connect the camera to Alta Aware to configure the camera settings. Once you have finished making configuration changes, unplug the network cable. Be careful when handling the camera after configuring it inside the packaging. The camera may be hot when handling it or removing it from the packaging immediately after inbox configuration. Ensure the camera package contains the camera, a junction box, four screws for attaching to an electrical box, a mounting template sticker, a solid wall accessories kit, Teflon tape, a protective rubber boot for the ethernet port, and a T20 driver. In addition, a Phillips screwdriver, a drill, a wire crimping tool, and a silicon sealant are required to complete the installation. These tools are not included in the package. Adding a Vigilon Alta H6SL cloud native cameras to the Alta Aware video management system is reviewed in the next segment. To add cameras to Alta Aware on a desktop, follow these steps. Note, these cameras may be added to Alta Aware either before unboxing the camera or after the camera has been mounted. To begin, ensure the installation site has access to a power over ethernet connection with internet access. Ensure you have access to the Alta Aware deployment site. For more details, contact an Alta Security Sales representative. Enter the credentials here. Additionally, consider the following before adding the camera to Alta Aware. The assigned name to the camera. Within Alta Aware, this identifier is used to refer to the device. Have a suitable configuration profile for the cameras. And finally, have a suitable device group created. In the next segment, adding a Vigilon Alta cameras using QR codes is reviewed. First, select here. Select here to add cameras. Next, click here. If a webcam isn't connected to the computer displaying the user interface, type the Alta key for the camera being added. If adding several cameras, scan or enter Alta key. The QR code is located on the camera or the box. Next, click Add. Alta Aware verifies the connection status of every camera and displays its corresponding status accordingly. Click Next. In the Name field, enter the name to refer to this device. From here, select the group for the camera. From Labels, select any required labels for the camera. To create a new label, open the Labels drop-down list and select Create a new label. Enter a name and choose Add. A blue outline and a tick indicate a label inherited from the site. From Configuration, select the required configuration profile. Next, select Done. This completes the steps required to add a Vigilon Alta Cloud Native cameras to Alta Aware deployment. In the next segment, let's review the steps to install the camera. To begin, use the mounting template to drill four mounting holes into the mounting surface. Next, drill the cable entry hole into the mounting surface. Pull the required cables through the cable entry hole. Hammer the supplied plastic anchors into the holes. Fasten the junction box to the mounting surface. It's recommended that the silicone be applied around the edge of the junction box to prevent moisture from entering the mounting surface. 
Insert the mounting hooks on the rear of the camera into the slots on the junction box, then let the camera hang. In the next segment, the steps to connect the required cables are reviewed. Before connecting any cables, ensure that the cable connections are adequately protected from moisture and corrosion. If external input or output devices need to be connected to the camera, connect the devices to the camera's digital I.O. connector cables. If an external microphone and speakers need to be connected to the camera, connect the devices to the camera's audio I.O. cables. Ensure the protective cable boot is installed over the Ethernet port to protect the connection from dust and moisture. To install the protective cable boot, remove the pre-installed boot over the Ethernet port. Next, thread one end of the Ethernet cable through it. Note the orientation of the cable and the boot. Crimp the Ethernet cable. Use one of the following methods to connect power to the camera. If power over Ethernet is available, the camera LEDs will turn on. Or, if using external power, connect an auxiliary power source. Be careful not to connect power to the audio input cable. Doing so will permanently damage the camera. Both the audio input cable and auxiliary power cable are brown. The auxiliary power cable has a thicker gauge and is labeled. Next, connect a network cable to the Ethernet port. Once the cable is connected to the camera, slide the boot over the Ethernet port. Check that the connection status LED indicator indicates the correct state. Tuck any excessive cables into the cable entry hole. Once all the cable connections have been made, secure the camera to the junction box. Raise the camera until it covers the junction box. Next, use the camera mounting screws to fasten the camera to the box. This completes the steps to mount the camera to the junction box. To access the configuration panel, use a T20 driver to unscrew the panel cover. The link LED indicator will turn on once a network link has been established. If the camera no longer functions as expected, reset it to its factory default settings. The camera has two levels of factory reset. In AltoWare or the camera web interface, perform a soft reset on the camera, returning it to the factory default settings while keeping the current software versions and preserving the onboard storage of the video. For more information on how to perform a soft reset, see this documentation. A full factory reset using the firmware revert button reverts all settings and the software version to that installed when the camera was first manufactured. A full factory reset also removes all stored video from the onboard storage. The next segment reviews how to perform a full reset to the factory default. Use the firmware revert button to reset the device. Ensure the camera is powered on. Using a straightened paper clip or similar tool, gently press and hold the firmware revert button for three seconds. Do not apply excessive force. Inserting the tool too far may damage the camera. Next, screw the configuration panel cover back. To aim the camera, loosen the adjustment screws on the camera mount arm. Next, rotate and move the camera and mount arm as required. View the camera's live video stream from Alto Aware to help aim the camera. Next, tighten the adjustment screws on the mount arm to secure the camera's position. In Alto Aware, adjust the camera's image and display settings and the image rotation. To zoom and focus the camera from the user interface, see the appropriate training documentation. Install the sun shroud on the camera body for outdoor installations. The sun shroud should only be removed when the camera is installed indoors or in areas with limited space. Use a T20 driver to unscrew and remove the shroud from the camera. Loosen the adjustment screw on the camera to turn the camera body. If the camera is turned sideways to look vertically at a scene, remove the sun shroud, then reinstall it to cover the camera's new angle of view. To reinstall the shroud, use the T20 driver to screw on the shroud. This completes the Avigilant Alta H6SL Bullet Cloud Native Camera installation steps. For specific information on the camera, see the appropriate documentation. The installation guide can be accessed on the Avigilant website.